I would like to discuss the most important question from module 5 for the subject electromagnetic waves. This subject is also known as field theory in some other university. So moving on to the discussion, first of all, I will figure out what are the important topics you must cover before appearing for the examination. So sometimes you may get a question like this, state and explain parallel flow of electromagnetic induction. Next is displacement current, significance of displacement current. Another unavoidable question I can surely say, at least one derivation will be asked from Maxwell's equation. So there are four derivations like the Maxwell equation, uh, which is derived from uh, ampere circuit law, then Gauss, Gauss theorem. Okay, there are so many, four conditions are available. At least one condition will be asked in the examination. So next is transverse electromagnetic waves and significance. Then what do you, what is the meaning of skin effect? And uh, so there are some equations. Okay, you have to remember there are some equations. Then uh, factors affecting the skin effect. Then pointing theorem is also very important. So all the topics which I highlighted that is most important and there are 100% uh, chance to ask these kind of questions. Please, so please don't leave. So among this, I strongly recommend like a Maxwell's equation. At least one type of derivation will be 100% asked in the examination. However, we'll uh, move on to the discussion. Uh, as I told you, the Maxwell's equations are most important. So uh, before that, anyway, you can expect Faraday's law. So according to the statement you have to study, so the uh, in the induced EMF is equal to the time rate of change of magnetic flux linking with the closed circuit. That means uh, if n is the number of turns, the EMF induced that is given by E is equal to minus n. And d5 by dt is equal to minus n d5 by dt. So remember this minus that is actually because of length rule. Okay, you must have studied in the first year classes. Okay, for a single turn, n will be equal to 1. So therefore, e is equal to minus d5 by dt. Okay, so cl uh, clear the concept. Then uh, you can expect uh, the basic, basic, basic rule or basic statement of uh, uh, Faraday's law. Clear. Uh, now, you can uh, explain with the vector field for the Faraday's law. Clear? So, like this, you can proceed. Closed integral E dot dl is equal to minus t by d, minus t by dt for the surface integral uh, V dot ds. Okay. So, this is regarding uh, EMF uh, equation. If you apply the Stokes theorem, I can write like uh, del cross is equal to minus dv by dt, where b, uh, b is not varying with respect to time. Then we can like the del cross e that is equal to zero. Therefore, closed integral e dot dl becomes zero. Clear. So these are the different cases we can write the EMF equation in different fashion. Okay. So this is another form. We can go through that. Next is called a displacement current. So del cross e that is equal to minus d by dp by dt. Then uh, if you consider the ampere circuit law at point del cross h is equal to j, where j is the current density. So we can write del dot del cross h is equal to 0, that is equal to del dot j. But according to the continuity equation, del dot j is equal to minus dot dot dv divided by dt. So further continuing, we can uh, simplify in this fashion. g can be written as uh, rho d by dot t. Then substitute the g in the equation, then it becomes del cross h equal to j plus dot d by dt. Okay, so ultimately del cross h I am getting dot d by dot t. So remember the sequence, okay. So therefore, I'll be getting the final equation like uh, closed integral s dot dl is equal to i plus id, where id is known as displacement current. Okay, that is the significance of displacement current. Uh, so another topic is uh, Maxwell's equation. So four condition I told you. So you have to study the four condition. At least one condition will be hundred percent is asking the examination. So derive Maxwell equation. Uh, from Faraday's law, then derive ampere circuit law from Faraday's law, derive uh, Maxwell's equation from Gauss law, derive uh, the Maxwell's equation from the magnetic field. So at least one question is confirmed in the examination for every examination. So from the Faraday's law, uh, I can write like this. Okay. So this derivation you are supposed to study. Okay. That means uh, del cross is equal to minus dv by dt. Similarly, ampere circuit law, I can write like uh, del cross x is equal to j plus dot d by dot t. So derivation you have to follow up. Then Gauss law, I, I should write like del cross uh, 
uh, w is equal to rho b then from the magnetic field i can write like a c uh, in this fashion i can write magnetic field okay so del dot b is equal to zero that means where b is not varying similarly maxwell's equation so for differential form point form uh, then integral form so if we talk about like uh, the first one that is regarding the Faraday's law, second one is ampere circuital law, third one is force law, and fourth one is magnetic field. This is a summary. You try to study this particular summary. If they ask in general, you can present the summary uh, very neatly. Okay, so that's also most important. So point form and integral form. There's a comparison. Like uh, remember the point form and integral form. Okay. For a good conductor, we can write like uh, current density greater than dot d by dot d that you are supposed to remember. Uh, provided dot d by dot d that is equal to zero, rho b will be equal to zero. So two comparison they have mentioned like point form as well as integral form. So there are of course numerical examples based upon this particular concept. So kindly uh, work out the numerical example. Some equations you have to remember. So which you already mentioned in the notes, you can just check it up. So whenever I am scrolling down now, I think you might have observed these equations. So we are using this kind of equation and trying to solve the numerical example. Okay. So likewise, you try to solve uh, different numerical example so that you will have a better idea to crack the examination. Clear? Okay. So these are the topics you can expect. There are so many numerical examples which you can solve very quickly. Okay. So kindly go through that. Let me know if you have any queries. So I'm happy to answer. So prepare very well for examination. Similarly, uh, there's a reputation with uh, like uh, transverse magnetic field. Okay, concept of transverse magnetic field that also can remember. Uh, that can that can be done with the help of Maxwell's equation. Okay, you can explain the concept of uh, transverse magnetic field. See these equations you are supposed to remember because directly you will be getting the questions like V is equal to one by square root of uh, mu epsilon. Okay, these kind of equations you will be getting for like uh, velocity of propagation. Like the wave velocity, how to calculate the velocity of propagation. Okay, so there are so many equations you have to remember. See, like the velocity V is equal to square root of uh, mu, uh, mu into epsilon, where mu is the permeability, then propagation constant gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta. So, this we can elaborate. Okay, then attenuation constant. Whenever you are doing for like uh, design of antenna, these kind of equations are most important. Okay, antenna design, phase constant, if you remember. Then intrinsic impedance, wavelength, those equations are most important. For the antenna, if you are studying with the antenna design at all, uh, these equations will be very helpful. Okay. Yes. Then there are few derivations that we can observe. Uniform plane wave, imperfect ideal plane. So these derivations also you have to remember. So correspondingly, you can get the numerical examples. So kindly check the numerical example clearly. So at least you study all the equations properly. Skin effect. Skin effect is applicable for AC field. Okay. Like uh, AC system. Consider only the component of electric field EX traveling in the positive set direction. When it travels to the good conductor, the conductivity is very high and the attenuation constant alpha is also high. Uh, then, by the way, the thing is uh, the distribution. The distribution uh, of the electric field, that will be uh, different. Okay in case of AC system, a conductor, consider a con conductor. So like, like uh, the, 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 as we can say, like the, the distribution of that particular uh, field that is not uniform, uh, that is because of uh, skin effect. Okay, skin depth, uh, we can write uh, the equation in this fashion. So try to solve the numerical example. Uh, okay, V is equal to F lambda. By using this equation, you can solve this. Okay, basic equation. Only you have to remember the basic equation. So these questions are, are repeated questions only, uh, which uh, like a calculation of skin depth, intrinsic impedance, propagation constant. Uh, bit uh, like uh, uh, tough to remember, but uh, if you remember the formula, no, you can easily solve this. So therefore, it's not a big deal to like get a good score. At least you can practice, okay. So calculation of skin depth, that is most important. Uh, as, as I mentioned, so many questions here. 
like the velocity of wave form propagation constant. Those things are also having uh, quite relevant. See this equation. Uh, v is equal to 1 by square root of mu epsilon. Okay, that's also the most important equation. Then pointing here. Energy stored in the electric field and magnetic field is transmitted at a certain rate of energy flow, which can be calculated with the help of pointing here. That is the need for pointing here. See, why pointing here is required? So, E cross H, pointing vector can be written as E cross H. Okay. So, I can elaborate the E cross H in this fashion. Ultimately, P average is equal to half EM square eta watts per meter square. That is actually where we can write like a pointing theorem and then in the integral form. So we can write, we can use the Maxwell's equation and modify the pointing theorem. Okay, in this fashion, we can modify the pointing theorem. So ultimately, we are getting uh, the point like the final expression in this fashion. Okay. So these are the important derivations. I request you to go through this derivation uh, before ending the examination. Okay. So these problems also you can try to work out. You can post this particular video and you can note down the important questions. Okay. So kindly don't uh, leave these derivations because all derivations are quite important. Different cases of Maxwell equation that is repeatedly asking for all the type of examination. So I request everybody that don't leave those kind of questions. Okay, some like uh, explanation like a uh, pointing theorem, why pointing theorem is required, the basic concept. Whenever you are explaining, try to explain with the help of equations. That will have more weightage. Okay, so hope you will manage it. Importance of skin effect. Okay, in that uh, those equations also you don't forget. So let me know if you have any further queries. Okay, kindly, uh, kindly go through these topics which I mentioned. Surely can clear the examination without any doubt. Okay. Yeah. So if you have any queries, do let me know. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. So if you are watching our channel first time, I request you to subscribe. And if the video is useful, I request you to share with your friends and colleagues. Have a great day.